Those vegan guys. I thank you. Well, hello there, my loves. It's Tuesday night, the first night of a brand new meals vlog. Hubby! Hello! <laughs> He's just edited the previous one. We've just got it up. Uh, we just fancied a breakfast. I bought this naked oink bacon when uh, Stuart was here meaning to have a sandwich with it and we didn't. So I thought, do you know what? Let's just have a breakfast. Yeah, I know. Some of you are going to say, where's the potato element? Well, sometimes, Karen, there just isn't one. And that's fine. No, the right. The right about that. And if we had some in the freezer, like hash browns or something, you know we'd have them. That's, that, that's all I'm saying. Just saying that. <laughs> so, we have got bread. Um, it's a full vegan breakfast for dinner. Commonly known as hashtag Brinner. Lovely. Bye, loves. It's Jason's Lunchtime Taste Tests. Okay, I was going to go to Asda and pick up something else from the chilled section, but then I remembered Greg's. Greg's, as you've just seen, it's still warm. Now, I paid a bit extra, I think it was £3.25, but I thought, I've got to give it a try. It's not going to be a regular thing that I purchase because it's a little bit on the high end in terms of price and what you can get value for money. As you've seen, if you've seen some of my lunchtime taste tests, but I've got to give it a quick try. So this is the new Greg's vegan ham and cheese. Pretty awesome. I'll see if I can give you a little looky inside. There we go. So just a quick taste test today to tell you what I think you probably already know. I could be proven wrong, but I we'll guess we'll just have to wait and see. I'm gonna dive straight in. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Really nice, fresh, crunchy baguette. And then just your classic vegan ham and cheese. You can't really go wrong. I'm really glad I opted to get it heated up and pay that little bit extra. Um, what I also probably didn't fully manage to capture in store is that they have a separate tray, uh, a separate vegan tray for heating anything in the oven uh, that needs to be heated. So I was very impressed with that. You kind of take it as a given these days uh, in terms of cross-contamination, but it was nice to see. Uh, and it was nice that the member of staff just kind of gave me that reassurance as well, which was very nice. So, this is... Mm, absolutely top-notch. Mm. Really tasty. I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. It's got to get an 8 out of 10. If it was a tiny little bit cheaper, I would have loved for them to have the heated option at sub £3. I know it's not a lot, but it just psychologically just makes a little bit of a difference in terms of the pricing. Um, to have to pay that additional to get it heated up that takes it over the £3 mark. Um, is a slight hesitation maybe for some people, but it's a little treat now and again. Absolutely brilliant, tastes great. The vegan cheese is lovely and tasty, got a really good melt point, which I'm hoping that you've been able to see um, in terms of me sort of demonstrating that and showing that. Uh, it's not particularly clear on camera, but trust me when I say, money well spent. I'm gonna shove the rest of this in my face get back to work um, and uh, thoroughly looking forward to uh, the weekend to come 
and spending time with Paul um, and catching up on doing some vlogging for the channel, of course, because uh, as some of you are aware, uh, the last weekend gone was very busy. So I won't keep you any longer on this taste test. Thank you, as always, for joining me. Um, take care of yourselves. And of course, I'll see you very soon. Well, hello, my loves. It's Wednesday evening and Jason surprised me today by texting me and telling me book tomorrow off work yay <laughs> which is brilliant and uh, tonight we're having um many people would call it a plate bits and things all on a plate uh, although this has a, a definite kind of mediterranean theme to it so i've cooked some um plain couscous but i've added some uh, garlic tomato puree and some very lazy garlic uh, that's one of the tubs of hummus we were sent from uh, subscribers from the Polish shop it's been in the cupboard for ages day 2022 so I was like let's have some of that uh, the little um, savory pies from Sainsbury's done in the air fryer and can use the Sainsbury's one yeah yeah oh, cool. and a mostly um, Plot 25 salad, all of the lettuce and the radishes are from Plot 25, just the tomatoes and onions and the olives are not. So I'm going to say most beautiful salad with the um, Marks and Spencer's Caesar style dressing and a couple of pita breads. So there you go my loves, that is our dinner on Wednesday evening and we're very, very, very excited about it. Bye loves. Hello my loves, it's um, Thursday evening, so whilst uh, Jason is fetching us a glass of wine, I shall tell you about this little dinner right here. Uh, probably already uploaded the recipe vlog for this, uh, it's homegrown rocket pesto on wholemeal penne pasta with homegrown courgette. Uh, frozen peas and frozen edamame but the pesto is absolutely delicious and of course I've got our homemade parmesan there to sprinkle on top a few of you have asked me about that so just very briefly that particular version there is the first version I've ever made I did it with uh, cashew nuts almonds sunflower seeds nooch salt and pepper in the Nutribullet till it was a fine powder there you go homemade parmesan um, so there is our uh, rocket pesto oh it looks far more vibrant on your plate Jason <laughs> uh, would you like to have a taste my I darling would like to have a taste yes so it's the usual garlic oil lemon juice nooch loads of rocket garlic mmm mm. hopefully it's retained a little bit of that pet that rocket peppery taste oh yeah it's really good <laughs> really good <laughs> oh yeah. excellent yeah the, again it's, it's i think it's the same as what i said last time um it comes through afterwards that's just that slight pepperiness, pepperiness. yeah yeah beautiful though so i'm just rich. i'm so glad we've managed to use up so much of our rocket for the pizzas and just in salads and i chopped some in dinner last night and you know and here we are with um hello Hi, I'd like to say hello to people. You keep doing this of late, don't you? It's like you're saying, can I can I be on your vlogs, please? Well, of course you can. You're our beautiful fur daughter. <laughs> you can always be on vlogs. Tiny, tiny child. <laughs> Hi, love. She'll scamper under our legs for ages now. Uh, so, yeah, you can't see the green quite so vivid on my plate but move it over to Jason's and suddenly it's beautifully green. Uh, so there we go, rocket pesto on uh, whole wheat penne with homegrown vegetables and some foot freezer. Why not? Bye, loves. Well, hello, my loves. It's uh, Friday, isn't it, Jason? It's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday evening. I should know that because we're live in about an hour and 45 minutes. See, it's quarter past seven right now. Uh, we've been at the allotment a lot of today, haven't we, Bromers? We've been shopping, we've been to the allotment. 
can also somewhere. We had an early start, didn't we? Yeah, oh, and I had my x-ray this morning, so I should get news about that in a week for those of you that are uh, interested with chest x-ray. Um, tonight, we're having two fries burgers. Now, this one over here has got um, mayonnaise, tomato, spinach from Plot 25, and then ketchup on the top. It's your plain old burger. Next door... We've got English mustard and tomato underneath, then the burger, char grilled courgette, sl courgette slices, um, well, just fried in the pan really with a little bit of garlic oil, and then rocket pesto on top, just for something different. And that is a coleslaw made with courgette and radish from Plot 25, and um, onion and carrot from my fridge. Not from Plot 25 <laughs> yet. With a little bit of white wine vinegar, a little bit of mayo, a little bit of mustard. Um, so, yeah, fancy burgers tonight. Quite fancy burgers. How are you, love? I'm good. Yeah? Yes, I'm looking forward to the live later on. I am. Because we uh, we missed last weekend, didn't we? We did. Doing our live. We did those bloody vegan queens. Yeah. Um, All of them. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the folks on Sunday down at the allotment. Yeah. Yeah, because that'll be in the vlog, I should imagine, yeah. on Monday. So if you don't mind, we're going to go and uh, eat all of this right now. Um, lots of love to you all. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's uh, Saturday evening and we've had a lovely afternoon. We've been out today and had the first inaugural flight of the drone. Uh, Jason's just edited a little vlog we've made there. You should be seeing that on Sunday. Uh, as you'll be seeing this vlog on Tuesday, I hope you've already seen the inaugural flight for, vlog for uh, our drone, kindly gifted to us by so many of you, now called Doris. If you haven't uh, seen it, we'll link it up there, surely. Yeah, link it up there, corner right now. Yeah. Uh, it's been three weeks since we've had our Chinese fake away. Well, Chinese slash Korean fake away. Um, if you don't know what this is, we have it once a fortnight, once every three weeks. And uh, I believe I did a shop and cook uh, on this particular meal many, many months ago. But most of the ingredients here are from Wing Yip. Um, so we've got uh, vegan drumsticks chopped up into the rice, uh, brown rice, along with spring onion. Satay sticks and um, tiger veggie prawn. They're both covered in a mixture of crunch peanut butter and Encona hot chili sauce. Veg dumplings, breaded drumstick, edamame and homemade kimchi, um, which I'm due to make more. Jason has far less kimchi than me, but still a little. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be having to make more kimchi soon and I'll be able to make it with Napa cabbage from my very own allotment. How bleeding marvellous is that? Uh, dipping sauces, light and dark soy sauce, white rice vinegar, spring onions and fresh chilies, and a couple of paratha, because you know what? It would be rude not to. Our Chinese fake away with a dash of Korean on the side. About to get smashed right in us faces. Bye, loves! Hello, my loves. It's uh, Sunday evening, so firstly, boo, because Jess is back at work tomorrow. <laughs> We've had a, an epic weekend, a four-day weekend. Though. We've had a really epic weekend, haven't we, this weekend? As you will see, it, as you will have already seen in the allotment vlog, hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, for this is the meals vlog. Uh, so, yeah, it's Sunday evening. We're finishing off the rocket pesto that we made a few nights ago in the mashed potato with a load of pan fried uh, spinach and chard from the allotment with some added peas from the freezer and some Linda McCartney red onion and rosemary sausages and a bit of bread. Look um, at this rebel here. <laughs> rebel pea. <laughs> so yeah, Jason's just editing the allotment vlog now. Three hours in so far, aren't you, Babs? Another hour, I think. Yeah. yeah. No, three hours and 45 minutes in. You said you started at four, didn't you? Another hour, I think. I'm only saying that because I want to include some drone footage at the start and a little bit on today's when Mum and Dad were at the... Yeah. Um, and it's an epic one. 
So if you haven't seen the the allotment uh, vlog and you're in into what we do at the allotment, um, please do consider having a look at it um, because it's definitely an epic one this weekend. Yeah, the drone footage is um, wonderful, isn't it? Mm. And there you go. There's our dinner for this evening. Pesto mashed potato, sausages and pan-fried uh, greens and peas. Lovely jubbly. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's the last night of our usual seven, uh, seven vegan meals vlog. Um, and tonight we're having the Aldi uh, chicken style Kiev's with like garlic and herb sauce. Jersey Royals, which are on offer in Tesco at the moment. And a lovely salad with our new, do you want to hold the salad shitters? Well, out, Jason. From, from the lovely Ashley, Paul and Jason's perfect salad shitters. <laughs> well, I'll be the judge of that. Let's, Jason, please, this is the inaugural salad shitting with the new salad shitters. So Jason, many, shit away. <laughs> so many firsts over the last couple of days. Inaugural drone flight and now inaugural salad shitters. Yeah, if you haven't seen, by the way, the last uh, allotment vlog, I'll pop the allotment playlist up there again. This is a largely allotment salad again. Uh, all of all of the leaves, spinach rocket and mixed lettuce are from uh, Plot 25. Look at that. Delightful. <laughs> um, if anyone knows how to do these Kievs in the air fryer without losing like a lot of the juice from the inside, do let me know. I sat them on paper tonight and the paper was full of the juice. Oh. Cut them open though, Jane. Let's, uh, for those that haven't seen, I think we've had these once before. Mm -hmm. I think. Yes. Uh, that might be right. And I'll just take a moment whilst I'm opening this up to just say to people. Oh yeah, there's still loads in there. Yeah, it's plenty. Let me see. Nice. Uh, I'll say to people, as this is the last meal of this meal vlog, mm -hmm. um, if you know anyone who's struggling for food inspiration, whether they're vegan or otherwise, uh, then do consider sharing um, our, our meals vlogs because there's quite a plethora now <laughs> of, uh, of meals and Paul I don't know how you do it but you do manage to keep it pretty diverse so I just take him in and say thank you I cook with well thank you my darling I cook with my belly uh, I, I, I <laughs> that's what I do I eat what I want to eat and I love tasty delicious vegan food um, so there you go I'm going to have to, I'm, I'm going to have to get a picture of that and upload it <laughs> the inaugural salad shitting. Uh, so there you go. Um, Aldi Kiev, uh, Jersey Royal potatoes, which I adore, and a largely plot 25 salad. And we shall see you again very soon. Bye, loves. <laughs> <laughs>